Leo, welcome to your reading. This week's theme is the monthly overview for March. Yeah? What's going on, please? Show me that Leo Collective. Show me that Leo Collective, like always. Take it resonates. Leave it does not. And if more than one energy pops up on the board today, then you reverse those energies as you see fit. What's going on, please, for Leo? Show me Leo. These are, after all, general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private, which is to say they may not resonate. Normal. Check your other placements. You will find yourself in there somewhere. Show me Leo in March. Show me Leo in March. Show me Leo in March. Show me Leo in March, please. What's going on? What's going on, please, for Leo in March? All right. What's up? What's going on? Okay. Six of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Nine of Cups. Very good. Judgment. Okay. Going into March, things are looking pretty good. The Hierophant. Yeah, the Five of Cups. Some sadness here. The Chariot. Okay. Okay. Some really strong energies today. A lot of empowerment. Ace of Swords. Queen of Cups. Beautiful truth. And the Devil. My goodness. A beautiful truth. Concerning a very intense feeling as it regards someone's emotions. Okay. We'll get to that. But there's insight here. Ace of Swords. So there, there must be a Devil. I'm happy to see the Ace of Swords there. That means we're clearing it up in some way. Uh, overall, starting off with some really strong progress here in March. Uh, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Judgment. Overall, keeping the peace between you and you, right? And then also your day-to-day -day activities, your to-dos. The Six of Pentacles, the idea here is our healthy balances. I give to this and it gives back to me, therefore I keep it going, right? Our day-to-day -day realities. Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, this is something that you very much like to see in your life in terms of thriving your principal balance is being met every day this is a core point for you and it helps keep you in line with you judgment there's some spiritual energy here possibly suspension of anything outside these activities while you focus on what matters as it relates to again your wishes wish fulfillment nine of cups Fast forward a little bit, uh, the Hierophant, Five of Cups, the Chariot, you know, we got some spiritual work here. Um, could be a commitment that I'm seeing. We don't necessarily know that. Always, straight away, the Hierophant more often than not represents commitment to the higher self. What is it we're trying to achieve at the spiritual level? But yes, it could be in conjunction with someone else. We'll see. But there is a sadness here, and we know it. We're not unaware of it. There is a sense of loss that you've been working through. Um, and that, again, that sense of committing to the self, the higher self working through it in the chariot. So your chariot has somewhere to go. It's not just staying stuck there at the Five of Cups train station, right? It wants to move forward, the chariot, respectively. And like I said, in the future, Ace of Swords, Queen of Cups, the devil, arriving to a strong truth in March, something hits you in terms of light bulb moment. But March, there's a deciding weight of, I understand now, something like that. It's interesting. It's very punctuated in March, and I don't know why. But it's very punctuated. Very strong insight there in March. It's interesting. Let's get in there. Let's take a look. Uh, some of these are pretty straightforward. So I don't, I'm not going to clarify them all. Six of Pentacles speaks for itself more so as you enter the month. Nine of Cups, I see it as a particular form of wish fulfillment for you about maintaining your balances. This is something that speaks to you as an individual, like I said. It makes you personally happy, right? All right, let's take a look at your Nine of Cups. Show me that Nine of Cups, show me that Nine of Cups, show me that Nine of Cups, show me that Nine of Cups. Show me that Nine of Cups, please, as we flow into March. Show me that Nine of Cups. Show me that Nine of Cups, please, as we flow into March. Okay, interesting. Let's do that one more time. Show me that Nine of Cups, please. The Ten of Pentacles, Three of Swords, the Four of Cups. You're telling me that you've been unhappy with your foundation and that it is pleasing you to get it back on track. You're saying, it. you know what that kind of reminds me of there, uh, that strong sense of priority. These are my priorities at this time. Six of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. This is not an uncommon uncommon combination. If you are used to having a foundation and, and excuse me, an empire. Oh boy, the lisp is really kicking in today. Some days are... Harder than others. I could not tell you why. It just is. Um, but yeah, when I see that, kind, of, it's a very common combination for somebody who's like, I got it. I got it down pat. These are my priorities, right? And this is what I'm used to. You're saying what you've been used to has gotten a little neglectful and you're cleaning house in that respect. Three of swords, four of cups. You want to feel better about the world you've created. You want to 
deep in your immersion in it. Perhaps you got lost for a little while, out of touch with your everyday reality that you worked so hard to build. Okay. And you're like, that doesn't suit. It doesn't suit. I'm unhappy. And perhaps I let things fall to the wayside for a little bit. You know, it's kind of like, uh, yeah, there's cleaning house and then there's actually taking care of it in a larger way. And you're saying, I, I need to take care of my environment in a larger way, going beyond just my day to day functions and being more mindful of my foundation and everything I put into it. I want to feel better about it. When I take a look around, I want to see a healthy, vibrant foundation, one that does more than just serve that I'm actively part of and I feel disconnected from it. I want to get back in touch with it and it would please you to do this. Good. Lovely. So you're saying you know what your focus is and in, into March and uh, really taking care of business, but more than just a material way because it would please you to do so. Uh, anything else, please? Let's take a look at let's take a look at judgment. Let's take a look at judgment. Show me judgment. I understand that feeling, right? I understand that feeling. Let's take a look at judgment, please. So I really see you opening the month on focusing what matters, getting back in touch with it, and therefore you get back in touch with you, and that's a good feeling. Show me judgment, please. Show me judgment. Show me judgment. Show me judgment. Temperance. Hanged man. The Ace of Pentacles. Ah, you want to make space for new in your life. Good job. Good job. Judgment. Temperance. Uh, the Hanged Man. Uh, time, time, time. <laughs> A lot of it, but active. Active healing. Active understanding of the self. Active suspension. Uh, judgment judgment of the self. Uh, stop being so critical on yourself. That kind of thing. Really getting back in touch with who you are. And in all these things, there's something in you that suggests that maybe one day, you know, I take care of what I got. I take care of me by default. Take care of what you got. You take care of yourself. Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, etc. Not only do you feel better about you, you get reacquainted with what matters, the priorities. And in so doing, whether you know it or not, you may not know. You're actually making space for new. Ace of Pentacles, I don't know what that new is. You may not either. <laughs> I think, however, you're doing what I call energetic prep. It starts with the intention of, I, you know what? I'm going to do a better job of loving me and everything I've created. And so we're not exactly looking for new, but because we're readdressing what's important and what a priority is and loving ourselves more and being more actively involved in our everyday life, we end up creating, and you take your time with it, time, time, time. Uh, you actually end up creating space for new opportunities. As you put more back into yourself, the universe tries to give you more in return, like an acknowledgement or this is, this is good on you, you know. I don't think you were intentionally aiming towards new opportunities, but what you're doing now, okay, will put you in that direction. I'm not sure what the Ace of Pentacles is to you. It could be a brand new opportunity that shows up, again, realistically in the real world. That's what the Pentacle is. It could be anything from work to a bonus to a gift to implementing new investments that feel good and right to you. Okay? But yeah. There's good work here. This is really good work here. When it's time for that Ace of Pentacles, I think you'll know. I do. It's just not going to be immediately obvious yet. Okay? Let's, uh, let's keep going. I like this. Be patient with yourself. Be kind with yourself. Right? Do good work. Do good work with what matters to you. And you allow for new to enter your life in a good way. Something that's very much right for you. And I see you contemplating new in the general sense, like what does that mean and what's in my life now? I just don't think you expected it to take shape, <laughs> but it does in some way, and that's nice. Perhaps we will see further down the line what the Ace of Pentacles is. All right. Now, that's a nice way to enter March, guys. It really is. Talk about spring cleaning, yeah? But more to the point, you're in there too. And it's like, you know what, the best way I can take care of me is by focusing on what matters. And I completely agree. We all need to get back into that space from time to time. It really allows ourselves to recenter. Now, show me this hierophant, please. Show me that hierophant. Show me that hierophant.
Nine of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, Time, the Magician. Oh, oh. There's something here that you did not give yourself permission for a long time. And I mean a long time. And I mean a long time. You're showing me anti-permission. Over the hair front, is that a surprise? No. Because <laughs> that's what it easily is boiled down to. We use the word commitment very loosely in tarot. And people automatically take it to a relationship space. It's commitment represents anything you say yes or no to. I stand by this or I do not stand by that. Either way, my word is my word. That's the commitment. So I wasn't necessarily convinced that you were going to show me commitment in the relationship context. It can often be the individual self. And your individual self here in March is recognizing that there is something here you have not given yourself permission to summon forth. And it looks like you're easing up a little bit. Whatever it is that you were... That hair font is really strict. And if that nine of wands is crossing him... I know. On this deck, it's interesting. He looks so happy and jovial. And it's like, man, I'm zen. I'm zen. Hey, well, the hair front can be charismatic in many respects. Um, but like I said, very non-negotiable once he says yes or no. <laughs> and so for a while, nine of wands, chronic blockage, there's something here you're like, I will not authorize that. I will not authorize that. And that that was like that for a hot minute with <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. But it's looking like your energy is easing up a wee bit in March. Um, it's like, I don't... It, mm. This is something I would not authorize. And now maybe I can open towards manifestation a little bit. Just a little bit. I like that admission. I wonder what it is. <laughs> Perhaps you have not felt comfortable asking for anything from the universe for a while. That does happen. Um, especially when it seems like we need to do a better job of taking care of what we have. It seems like we're not in the position to ask for the universe for anything. You know, something like that. But uh, the refusal to permit yourself to do something is real. And it's starting to ease. And that took time. You're showing me I'd like to manifest a little something. I wonder what it is. Hmm. Let's take a look at that Five of Cups, please. Show me that Five of Cups. Show me that Five of Cups. And will it come forward? Oh. Four of Wands is in reverse for some of you that flipped out. Interesting. Let's see that five of cups. Show me that five of cups. Show me that five of cups. That would be anti-relationship. Or the acknowledgement of, I don't want to participate in this anymore. For some of you. That's confirmation. Let's see that five of cups, please. Show me that five of cups. Five of cups. Okay, okay. All right. Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles, the Moon. Something that you have not been comfortable with is starting to come forward. Carefully. Small at first. Which is good. That's all right. It's a source of pain that you are allowing to come out. Something that you have been putting off from feeling, you're now allowing yourself to feeling it. Is that what this is? That you're going to allow yourself to access that space? Why is March important? Does it represent an anniversary for some of you? Something that you've been putting off. You're saying, I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable with it. I'm not comfortable with it. Now you're starting to show me, okay, maybe I can manifest through this. Maybe I can ask for this. I wonder what it is. If I have a cups, the moon, page of pentacles, page of cups, very small pages in the form of investment. And understanding the feeling about something that you have been trying to bury or that you have successfully buried for some time is starting to come through, but in a very gentle way. The pages are not obnoxious. They're not huge. And they're, it's looking like they're trying to give you small packets of information about pain. Echoes of the past, specifically, Five of Cups is old pain, loss, regret, missed opportunity, sorrow, that kind of thing. You're now allowing yourself to look at it. Do you feel safer? Do you feel safer now? Is that what this is? Okay. Okay. Let's see that chariot, please. <clears throat> 
Some of that chariot, some of that chariot. For some of you, this March looks and feels very different compared to last March. And we're just now starting to see it, or allowing ourselves to see it and feel it, the difference of it specifically. For some reason, the passage of a year is important to some of you. I see that chariot, some of the chariot, some of the chariot. Two of Wands, the Devil. The Ten of Wands, man, look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. <laughs> I have got to see that Devil in your future timeline. There's something you keep coming back to because you're trying to understand it. Okay, not because you're, you're done with it. You're just now starting to allow yourself to look at this like a year later. I don't know why I keep getting that. Hmm. Like I said, March this year looks very different and feels different compared to last year. There's something that you're allowing yourself to look at now calmly and on your own time. Okay, and it's difficult. You're saying it's difficult. You're saying it's really difficult, Christina, to look at this stuff. That's why you need permission, honey. So your hair from here is representing your higher self. It's something that you've been putting off and putting off, but time's passed. Right here. And you're like, I, I can look at this now. Good. If it helps you understand yourself better, gives you the insights you need, then good. Okay, baby steps, right there. Uh, the chariot, you're, you're, you're like, I'm making the decision, and this is going to suck. It's going to suck, but I need to understand this. So I see you doing some deep diving here in March. Your material world secure. You feeling better about it, that was a big goal for you, entering the spring, yes. And with that came certain advantages, although you may not see it that way. But once you put the care and priority back on what matters in your principal world, you started to see yourself opening up towards uncomfortable subjects that some of you have been putting off for a year. March to March for some reason. Ashes to, excuse me, ashes to ashes, David Bowie. <laughs> yeah. It's a good song. Then again, I'm a Bowie fan, so. But yeah, for some of you, that might have meaning. Good for you. You're going to understand this. You want to understand it. Not the easiest of subjects. I can't wait to see what you've learned because you just showed me acceleration of knowledge. First, your heart space is showing me the dedication to quote-unquote go there. You made the decision, difficult as it is. Your uncomfortable feelings are coming out from under the moon. And I can see with that devil this provokes some fears. I wonder what you will find. Because here he is again, and here's the truth of it. March is uh, going to be interesting for some Leos, eh? I wonder what you discovered. Let's take a look at your Ace of Swords. Some of the Ace of Swords, please, for Leo. Some of the Ace of Swords, please, for Leo. Oh, no, we're going to try that again. Yes. <laughs> some of the Ace of Swords, please, for Leo. Some of the Ace of Swords, please, for Leo. Let's do one more. Some of the Ace of Swords, please. Eight of Cups, Three of Swords, The Lovers. Ah, there it is. I was wondering when we're going to see that. It stood to reason, honey. I've been doing this a long time. When there's this much, I can't deal with this now, I can't confront this now, I can't look at this now, especially if it's been building up for months, seasons, and possibly upwards to a year. There's always something strong as hell behind it, honey. There's always a strong punch. There's always a strong punchline. Okay? And you're not the punchline. And what you experienced isn't the punchline, but it is the point. You are energetically getting to a particularly overdue point. 
about what a strong connection meant to you and why does it provoke and elicit such strong feelings in you, one that you largely up until this point felt that you had to suppress because you couldn't quote unquote deal with it, rather commit to you understanding how to deal with it. It's not an accusation. I'm just trying to catch up to where you are. And it's a very powerful timestamp for this Leo. And I try not to emphasize time, but we are doing March and it's coming across heavily as we're looking at this now. This is the year. We can do this. Okay, good for you. Uh, Eight of Cups, Three of Swords. It, it hurt. It hurt like heck with this lover's connection. We understand this. We understand that someone here, the lover's automatically is two, so you get to decide who is who. Either yourself or someone else was largely emotionally unavailable, and this is what caused the pain between what is otherwise a very powerful connection. It forced someone to walk, and we're just now recognizing this and allowing ourselves, more importantly, to recognize this in March. And it's it's an undisputed truth. We're accepting the truth. Congratulations. This, this truth, I, I would tell you, is inevitable, but that's not the case. People can deny the truth for a long time. There you go. And I don't see you denying the truth, but it was also like I'm not in a place where I can emotionally process it. Like I said, for some reason, a year out, you feel safe to do it now, to unpack this now. I don't know why the year is so important, but it was for you. Okay? You had a lot to experience between now and then, and you've experienced it, and now you're processing it. And that's all I want for people. Okay? Okay? So take your time with that truth. Um, when you experience the full weight of it and you accept it, you know, you either accept the weight of that truth for you, them, combination of the two. Regardless, take your time with it. Let it sit with you and say, this is how it was. I see that and I can accept it now. Yeah, the Eight of Cups, Three of Swords, the Lovers. It's, 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 you know, honey, you had to work hard for that truth, but it's here now. And I don't want you to take it back. Because it's true. When we deny the truth, that's when we create problems. But um, was it a strong connection? Absolutely. Was it likely unrequited? Oh, a thousand percent. <laughs> and I, I don't mean that in a, a lighthearted way. Oh, it, wait. What happens is when I say the devil twice like this and it's unresolved issues, I know I'm going to see the lovers. It's like I said, I've been doing this a long time. It's unrequited, you know. We weren't on the same page with our lover for one reason or another. It's usually like this. It's like the missed ping pong. Somebody serves, the other person always seems to miss. And then they trade off. Somebody serves and the other person always seems to miss. So, yeah, that's, that's what unrequited is. You know, and it's a mental, it's emotional, it's spiritual, it's sexual. For some reason, you two are like the zipper that doesn't line up. The lovers ideally zips up if it's accepted in the right ways at the same time by two people. Or we create that misalignment with the zippers never catch the teeth correctly. Okay. And that's what this was. And we can see that now. Emotional unavailability caused the pain twisted the knife in our hearts, caused somebody to walk the truth. There it is. Congratulations. And I mean that. You know, emotional unavailability takes its toll. It suggests I'm trying to find something. I'm trying to search something. But I can't open myself up towards it fully. And until I see that, I'll continue to participate in something I don't fully understand. And it creates that uneven effect, as discussed. Okay? So, let's see that Queen of Cups. Let's see that Queen of Cups. Or perhaps we didn't know that we were supposed to be more emotionally available to it. Perhaps we didn't know it was a strong lover's union. It does happen. These things happen. But we don't have to know that until much later. Okay. Let's see that Queen of Cups. Some of that Queen of Cups. Some of that Queen of Cups. Some of that Queen of Cups. March looks like a really strong, not come full circle. There's a difference between a full circle and then you just recreate the same issue. But then there's circle spiral. That's different. That's progress. So you can come back around to an issue and it doesn't affect you the same way. That means you've learned and you've made progress as you go up. The spiral can also work in reverse. Going back around, but the problem deepens because we refuse to understand it. So like I said, you could have refused to understand this. All right. The hanged man. The Three of Cups. Stop. Oh, Five of Cups. Oh, stop. Yum, yum, yum. We have a lot of understanding here. You're showing me high levels of empathy. Oh, oh. 
the Queen of Cups, empathy is in here, and it's, it's pretty strong. And it's the hanged man, it's in reflection. Three Cups, the Five of Cups, of what we're connected to. There's a strong sense of empathy of feeling in here, uh, but I understand this. I understand this now, I, I experienced it too, because you did experience it too. Whoever was emotionally unavailable, it doesn't matter if it was you or them. You still experienced the empathy of, I want to connect with this, and I can't fully do it. We get it. We get where that five, here's that five of cups. Right here on the baseline. With these little pages that are not loud, they're not obnoxious. In fact, they make a great little team here. Okay. Trying to understand that long buried five of cups. You're showing me empathy. I understand. I understand it was a matter of, of emotional connectivity of the heart. I felt it too. I experienced it too. And your understanding, you say you understand their feeling, you understand your feelings, you understand the situation. Again, Ace of Swords, once we have that, we can't take it back, and I don't want to, too. Uh, you're showing me high levels of sympathy and empathy, and I, I get it. I get what happened. I experienced it, too. Okay. Okay. Let's see that devil. All right, show me that devil, please. Given that here, is there possible for reconnectivity further down the line? Yes, I don't. It's a technicality. I have to kind of report it because it's here. Um, but you will know further in time. Uh, right now I see it as a delayed effect as we begin to understand these feelings and how we're actually more like our lover than not, at least at the feeling level, you know. It turns out I wasn't so emotionally absent as I had thought, you know. Yeah. That kind of thing. Let's see that devil, please. Show me the devil. 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 Four of Wands. The Four of Pentacles. The Two of Wands. I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is. It's uh, completely separate from everything I've read up until this point. You're showing me a devil, excuse me, a devil for a very different reason. It's showing up in your material world. This one was fear of emotional reflection and moving that forward to kind of get it out of your system to understand it better. Okay. Like I said, it makes perfect sense and I completely respect it. It, it makes perfect sense. But it was an internal devil. This is an external devil. Something that is in your life now. From this situation, we're disconnected from it. You're showing me after the fact, understanding, insight, and empathy for the situation. As like I said, we, we seem to understand our lover better now. Okay? And, and yourself, too. Um, I have you tied to something else that requires a completely different level of decision-making skills. It's showing up as four of wands, four of pentacles, two of wands. This is active, constructive reality for which you feel very much tied to and you're not entirely sure you understand why, but you seem to think it's a problem. So again, this is a distant devil that you are emotionally working through, making excellent progress. I think I've reported that. Insight, emotional understanding, awareness, beautiful. Absolutely. It doesn't feel that way. I know it feels painful. But it is beautiful because it's active work and it's beautiful and it's overdue. Can't stress that enough. Overdue for some of you. Like I said, upwards to a year. March to March. This is active. Do you see the difference? This is an active devil. It has nothing to do with the lover at all. It seems to do with some sort of relationship energy here. Four of Wands, a relationship that's defined by two people, however that is. And Four of Pentacles is active holding. Active holding in the real world, two of wands, active decision making, active real world energy, active relationship. We feel very charged to hold on to it. Heavy sense of obligation and contractual obligation, but it goes into a not great place with the devil. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel like a good contract. It doesn't feel like a healthy contract. We don't give too much to it, but you are, to your credit, actively looking at this as a decision. Yes, it is a decision. Any contract, any relationship is a decision. 
if it's showing up in your real world as this is my responsibility, I have to deal with it, then yeah, it's going to require active decision making. What you're trying to decide about it, I don't know. But in this, you've mapped out some beautiful lessons. They're all retroactive after the point, after the fact. You know? But that, that, that last level there is different. The imprint is different. The reality of it's different. It's straight up relationship contractual too. I don't know what it means to you, but it hits very differently compared to the devil of hard earned lessons on emotions and thoughts, etc. Completely different devil. It's hard for people to understand that that most internal excuse me, devils. I'm trying to combine the word devil and internal. That's fun. Uh, that most devils are internal until they're external. And when they're external, it's extremely obvious. Okay. I'm guessing this is a situation that obviously hits or affects you further back on your timeline. You're just now processing it, but it's been separated from or an active suspension state for some time. This is active and it's been in your timeline for I don't know how long. You're only showing me a little fragment of it, specifically what you're thinking of it now. Okay. So this is just March. What are you going to show me in April, honey? <laughs> wow. All right. Let's get some oracles for you. Without more insight on that, I couldn't tell you. But uh, it either applies to or it doesn't. The perfect storm. Okay. Resourcefulness. Horned cactus. Okay. Let's get some oracles, please. Winter's dream, the just, thank you, Spirit, I appreciate that. Uh, that's perfect. That's a perfect summary of everything I've been seeing here today. Well, most of it. Opening material concentration efforts, spiritual and emotional flow, and then something else again that pops up in reality. Again, not completely at all tied to whatever that is. Okay. But yeah, winter's dream, the gestation period. So you have to digest. You have a very slow gestation period or digestion period of when you are actually able to open up towards something that proved difficult in nature, but you got through it, and you're getting through it, and it's beautiful. But that was winter's dream. <clears throat> it's like you've been asleep for a year, or confused, upset, queasy maybe. And the day you started giving yourself soft permission to start pushing back on yourself to understand these things and accept them and allowing it to flow through you, the truth of it, that's when you started to come out of your winter. Yeah. Number 63. The gestation period, perfect. <clears throat> Eyes of the eagle, rising above the fray. Absolutely, there's your ace of swords. There's that hard-earned truth I was telling you about. And the deeper dive, deep diver diving into the task number 10. So we have 18 as well as 10. Yeah, yeah, that gentle dive right there into the moon. Let's see. Oracles, charms, they're little bridges to the main story. They either fit and connect for you or they don't. I would like to see, I'm not going to lie, more on this. I, <clears throat> excuse me, I can't guarantee that I'll tune into the same group of Leos for April, but I, I got to know more about that. This is beautiful, and I don't want to undermine that process at all. It, I hope you give it the full weight and respect that it clearly deserves. Um, you've learned some hard things about a strong connection. You're incorporating them. It's beautiful. What I really liked here is how you suspended all judgment of the heart space and saying, in the end... I'm empathetic to the situation, what they felt, I see how they felt it, because I feel it too. But it turns out, Christine, at the heart space, we were more alike than we were different. And that's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. Five, the tree of life. The roots, the stability. Okay, your genetic legacy as well is in there. With the mature woman. Okay. Some of you say you have roots and or legacy with someone. You either are the mature woman or someone whom you are connected to. Okay. About the legacy, stork, family, what it all means. Nesting. The official person. Okay. You're in bad health. There is this sense here of priorities, care, nesting. It is my, somebody here is the official person. Okay. And uh, whatever constitutes bad health, this could be mental health, emotional health, uh, physical health, uh, 
Okay. And also it can represent something that doesn't get better. FYI. But they're here. Somebody is charged with being the official person and having to care and provide the life of somebody's legacy. They're considered family. Okay. It's the obligation here. There's a strong sense of I have to make sure that this survives. It's part of the legacy and I'm tied to it. Okay. We also have the numbers of 5, 6, 17, 31, and 22. Leo, honey, I hope this helped you. Put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.